Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is Raz. In this video, we're going to find out how to calculate independent sample t tests using SPSS. So, for that, uh, the outcome variables would be um, quantitative, for example, salary. Here you can see the numeric variable, uh, and the independent variable should be categorical uh, with uh, two groups. Okay, so here you have gender, male and female, and then um, salary uh, in US dollars and uh, before running the test you should know the code or the values being used for this um, variable gender okay so you can check here so you can see that M represents males and the F represents females so remember that and after that now go to analyze go to compare means and then click on independent sample t-test okay so here you can see that okay so let me um, let me run from the from the beginning. You can, you can see that uh, there are two options: test variables and grouping variable. Under the test variable, put the outcome variable that is uh, salary. This one, okay. And in the grouping variable, put the categorical variable or the grouping variable that is uh, gender. And take it here. Now you need to define groups. So group one is M, and group two is f okay group to is f so click on continue so you can even set the confidence interval by going into options so here the default confidence interval is 95 percent which is uh, most commonly used so let's keep it as it is click on continue and then click on ok now you, you, you'll see the uh, table uh, in the output viewer window uh, in which uh, there are two tables the first table is of the uh, the mean and standard deviation and the standard error of the two groups that is males and females you can see that the means are different okay but you need to test the equality of means by using the t-test so before that look into this test of equality of variance so equal variance assumed and equal variance not assumed so testing for the equality of variance you can see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05 which means that the variance is not equal the variance in uh, uh, the variance um, uh, of the salary between males and females is not equal so you need to look at the t test values under this option equal variance not assumed okay because the p value is less than 0 0.05 so now equal variance not assumed and go to the t values you can see that the uh, t test value is um, 11.68 with the degree of freedom 344.262 and the p-value is uh, less than 0 0.05 and and even it shows the mean difference standard error of difference and the confidence interval so since the p-value is less than 0 0.05 you can conclude that um, the, the the difference in mean salary of the males and females is statistically significant so this is how you, you calculate the independent sample t-test using uh, the SPSS. Hope you like the video. Uh, please share it with your colleagues if you find it useful. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you. Bye-bye and cheers.